Hello modelers. Just wanted to share with you my little venture uh, learning about foam board uh, glider wing assembly and design. Um, so here's some samples I wanted to show you. This is my kind of like my first one just to check to see if I could even bend a, a board to keep some kind of a shape and make an aileron and also I played with a little bit of tape covering. That was uh, early on. This is a, about a 10 inch cord. Next one I started putting spars in. Um, started playing with spar designs, thicknesses of airfoils and what have you. Here's a typical T type airfoil um, spar. You can see though, a little uh, problem here, not a complete nice rounded edge where the spar is due to the tension. Um, but that's part of the process, so this was a, about an 8% thick, so it turned out, you know, didn't turn out right. Not as clean as I'd like. Still, here's the hinge. Works really well, though, with some tape on top. Next one is a uh, almost good unit. It's about 8.7% thick with an all-foam spar. Um... Which worked pretty good. Um, it got some nice curvature, a little bit better curvature on it, and um, you know a nice, uh, nice shape. Aileron again, typical aileron. Um, hinging a full hinge, hinging off the paper and plus the tape on the top, which is really nice. It makes this aileron flight surface really nice and stiff down the line. But the shape, um, going for a. Um, symmetrical type airfoil here it just didn't quite come out right uh, if you can look close you can see where um, this is the top surface here but the shape just isn't quite symmetrical it's actually reversed so that was uh, third or fourth attempt and then we finally got pretty good at it and uh, ended up with a, a vertical type spar um, all the way across and the symmetrical shape of the airfoil is pretty darn close and uh, the only problem with this one is and I could live with it I think it'd be fine in the park uh, flying slow it's not a fast airfoil it's, it's mainly for aerobatics and having fun in the park but it still has a little bit of slight deformation top and bottom at the spar um, this one is eight and a half percent thick, so it's a 10 inch root, so it's about 850 thousandths right about here. So, but uh, that kind of decided, helped me decide to go ahead and go forth and make a, a, a sample wing, which is right here. This is a 10 inch root, 50 inch panel, which I did, and that has a full air run on it. So that was based on uh, a little bit different spar. I made it a little bit wider to try to get rid of some of the uh, deformation. But um, so that turned out fairly well. It gave me some good promise here to go more, to move forward, forward more. So anyway, so now the final product, which I'm really happy with, is this one here. Uh, it's 11 inch root uh, uh, cord. I'm sorry. It has a two and three quarter inch aileron. And um, if you look at the side of this, it's pretty darn nice. It's completely, actually a little bit, actually way better construction as far as I, I can see. I have a full, nice, clean airfoil all the way. It's I've checked it with a with an indicator and it's pretty close top and bottom. I mean, within thousands of an inch. And uh, what I've done is I've just taken the two pieces and just went all the way back to the trailing edge and then sanded this down to make a nice trailing edge. So a complete boxed aileron, which is normal for a, a, a correct wing. Um, so this has turned out really nice, actually. So we have a nice hinged aileron. And we can put a little bit more sanding down here to get a little bit more down throw if needed. And you can see where I have the, the stiff area, the static area of the wing already set. And uh, this is a test spar. 
and uh, this is an 11 inch root again it's very nice it's very clean there's absolutely no deformation at all top and bottom so i'm really pleased with this so i think i'm going to go forth and make another pair of wings like this and see how it goes so here we have a foam board hollow wing and a hollow aileron so um should do well so that's my little journey and i uh, hope you learn a bit more and uh Maybe I'll learn. Uh, it's all fun. It's all about fun and uh, flying these gliders in the park. Uh, and uh, so, anyway, hope you have a good day. See you later.